What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks, and this is my detailed review and on foot of the Reebok Answer 4 Whale Edition or Playoffs Edition, man, coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of an all leather upper. This part right here is 3M, and you got the i3 logo in like a black, and it really just contrasts with the shoe. A lot of people call this shoe the Orca Whale, um, they gave it this nickname because it kind of does resemble or or Orca Whale with its like style and also the way that the white and black hits off of it. Towards the back, you got that DMX right there. Now, if this shoe does have DMX technology, I don't know. I just bought this shoe to rock, like so I don't, I'm not going to play basketball in them. So if you want to know if A4s have DMX technology, you're going to have to either hit up um, Reebok's chat service or hit up their customer service or you know try and find a, a performance review of these shoes but anyways getting towards the back of the shoe it got Iverson right there got the white pull tab got the ad 3 on there that's a pretty nice touch got the Reebok logo and on the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe getting towards the lacing system of the shoe is just your standard Reebok A4 lacing um, you got the you know zip up shroud so you can have this in like full basketball performance mode with the um, shroud all the way zipped up or you know you can go a little bit casual take that off zip it down um, one thing that they've been adding to the newer A4s is like on the tongue it has this weird like i3 logo like just coming down the shoe I never yeah let me go ahead and flip that around but yeah it got this weird i3 logo that comes all the way down the tongue the older A4s never had that and then also one thing that I like that they kept on this shoe is that it has the actual like only the strong survives tattoo in the insole with some of the newer um, answer fours they don't have that on the insole they just have a regular like plain insole which is pretty weird on the outsole of the shoe is just your standard A4 outsole the best part of the shoe you already know is A. Allen Iverson's face right there and you know just overall definitely a great shoe definitely glad that I got this in the collection also at the top of the tongue right here has Reebok and Boston there and this is also 3M as well and this part is 3M so as far as sizing goes with this shoe I would suggest going true to size even if you have a fat a wide a normal or a narrow foot these shoes retail at hundred and forty dollars and how I came across my pair was um, when these shoes was like rumored to come out um, they released stay sad first so I figured that they was gonna come to the you know to the US with a release but like this was rumored to be about like two or three months ago and you know Reebok has really been playing with our emotions when it comes to like certain um, Reebok releases like last year or the year before then they released a Reebok Shack Gnosis OG reverse that only came out overseas it never released in the states I did a review on that I put it up above if you want to check it out but that shoe was cold never released in the states they also did a, a Reebok answer 5 low um, a white and black edition also a white and oatmeal edition I did reviews on both those shoes but those shoes never released in the states but after you know it was rumored that they was going to release in the states and then they didn't release in the states for that long of a time I just went on ahead and you know took the bullet and I went on ahead and bought these through eBay because a lot of people who bought the shoes from overseas they're selling it on eBay and I paid like two hundred and ten dollars for this shoe you know after shipping and everything and, and for some reason this did not go through the eBay authentication process like it shipped directly from the from the seller to me which is pretty nice because I didn't have to worry about you know it taking this forever time to get to eBay them to authenticate it and then ship it to me I already knew the shoe was legit anyways um, but yeah that's how I came across the shoe you know I didn't want to wait I was able to get this shoe via eBay will this shoe release in the US I don't know I highly doubt it or if so it'll probably release towards the end of the year but I mean I don't know man I couldn't take that L because I was just looking on the eBay websites and like I was seeing my size and it was like at first it was like 220 240 and I'm like yeah that's way too high then eventually it started going down in price and then I'm just sitting there like man I don't think these shoes are going to release in the states and I don't want to take that L and like I went on eBay and my shoe my shoe size was completely sold out and I was started panicking I'm like oh man I'm about to be out here bogus and then um, I talked to a seller and he said he had an extra size 11 and he added it on the website or on the eBay site and I just went on ahead and checked out and got it man because you know I didn't want to take an L on this shoe because this is the first time ever that this shoe has released 
to the public. If I'm not mistaken, these could have came out when the A4s was popping and they came out in like 2001, but I don't remember ever seeing it. And I used to read the East Bay books religiously and I never seen this colorway come out. So, you know, any Reebok purists, they, you know, they can let me know if I'm wrong or right, but I never seen this shoe drop for retail and to get this shoe in the collection is definitely crazy. A lot of people like remember the A4s for, due to the step over version the one you know with the all black toe and he's you know he like stepped over um on what's his face on Teron Lou or whatever but like I also remember these as well like these was cold these remind me of the playoff Jordan 12s they had like this that type of um vibe with it and you know he only wore the shoe in the playoffs if I'm not mistaken so just overall this shoe is definitely a vibe definitely a shoe that I always wanted from my youth from studying Allen Iverson and you know just like you know rocking with them ever since I was a kid. This was definitely a must have in the collection. Hopefully this released to the state so everybody can get a pair. But if you are on the fence and you like this shoe and you like Allen Iverson and you collect Iverson stuff, I would say just bite the bullet and pay for it because we don't know what Reebok doing. Reebok has really been weird when it comes to releases that should be in the States, just releasing only overseas. Now without further ado, here's an awful look of the Reebok answer for Playoffs or Whale Edition. Crush. You say more money, more problems. They say more money, more problems. They say more money, more problems, and need a couple of those. Cause I'm surrounded by drama because a nigga broke. It feel like everything going up in flames are full of smoke. They treat a nigga like you a joke. My back against the ropes, but I ain't quitting the fight. I'm just doing a rope with dope. To get the money, you flip the dope like that is your only hope. But the times and change, all my niggas full of their dope. Got their jaws clenching, popping them pills. One of the symptoms, and I try not to judge them, but I couldn't just fail to mention. If I made different decisions, well, I could have felt victim. But ain't nobody wanna listen, cause how you making a living? You a dreamer. That still sleep, no meals for the meek. You just live on peak, nigga. Where's your fucking sheep? You woke, where well, that's good? Will it fill up my stomach? No, nope. I'ma make a million one day, and then it's murders you wrote. Will it make my life better? Well, it's better than getting broke. They say, more money, more problems. I ain't saying that no one might have riches can solve you. But from experience, it's hard to be broke. When the bills keep on piling, you just lose all hope. They say, more money, more problems. They say, more money, more problems. They say, more money, more problems. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Reebok and Sephora's. There are a lot of colorways out. They got the stepovers. They got the white and red ones. They got these. They, they got they are a couple decent little colorways out there. So comment down below what's your favorite colorway. And we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit the subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.